you're from Watertown, New York, correct? That's where you were born, uh, technically? No, or? I was born... No, I was born in New York City. You were born Manhattan, in... But my mother's from Watertown, New York. Okay. And I spent my... Uh, after my parents split up, uh, I spent my... She went back to her hometown with me and my two brothers, and we... From the age of 11 through high school, I lived there. You lived in central New York. Is that how you made your way to Lake Placid on February 22nd, 1980, Vigo? Yeah, that's correct. I was there during the whole Olympics as a, as a volunteer. What were you doing at the Winter Olympics, the, the 1980 Olympics? What were you volunteering doing? Well, I was going to college nearby uh, in Canton, New York, St. Lawrence University. And um, uh, January was off and i got a uh, permission to go do this you know i got i volunteered a couple other people i think from there did too to, to i was supposed to translate for the danish you know team with some cross-country skiers i guess and they ended up not coming i guess they didn't think they stood a chance they didn't want to spend the energy and the money i don't know right and so then they said uh well if you want to translate for the swedes and i said okay i mean neither the swedes nor the danes really needed that much help to speak English really well. Maybe, you know, I taught him some swear words, I guess. But, <laughs> but I just I just ran errands and, you know, got him stuff and hung out and got to see all these great athletes, amazing athletes. And uh, the best thing about the whole experience for me was that I got to be friends with people on the Finnish team, uh, Finland's team. And um, they said, if you ever want to see a hockey game, I said, yeah, can I go to – go to one they go sure and then the next day i went again and they said anytime you want to come i said great so i went to every night i'd go see hockey and uh we'd stop at the fin finland house each country had their house where they sort of had tourist pictures and some of their products and in the finland house it was pretty much just vodka and we'd have a few drinks and <laughs> go, to the, <laughs> go to the game really in a good mood and and uh yes i saw i saw the united states uh, do the impossible with these college players, these kids, really, beating what was probably at that time the greatest hockey team on the planet. So, the Soviet uh, Union. so uh, normally I, I, I'd want to immediately delve into this part of the story, and I and I will, uh, if you don't mind. <laughs> uh, I will put a sure. pin in it for the moment. So are you saying you've done uh, vodka shots with Yari Curry at the 1980 Olympics? Is that what you're saying to me, Vigo Mortensen? That actually happened? No, he no, Yari, I didn't. I didn't drink with him. I think he was on his best behavior, at least as far as I can see. <laughs> but uh, no, it was like other people in the delegation, okay, volunteers and people, and you know, yeah. Uh, Oli Saren, but, uh, I mean, Finland they... did well too. I think didn't they get didn't they get third place? Or... Well, no, they they, they were in the medal. They they the U.S. Oh, actually there was the gold medal game. Everybody thinks that right, they, when they beat it. the they Soviets, the silver. That's right. Right. Everybody that's, thinks that when they, they beat played the final with them, exactly. Yeah, I think of the Soviet game is the final. Right. Game, of course. So then, where were you actually? Where were your seats inside that arena, Vigo? Where were your seats? Um, eh, it wasn't. It was pretty center along the side and. Uh, I'd say I can't remember. Maybe maybe eight rows back, ten rows back. It was they were great seats actually. They were really really good. <sighs> um, so it was it was an amazing thing. You know, I didn't think they would win it, but I thought they would give them a good. You know, because you're playing at home in front of your, you know, your fans, your country, and I knew they would be feisty and just give it all. But I figured, you know, there's no way. And lo and behold, a miracle. Can you do your best, if you don't mind? I mean, you clearly are uh, a storyteller of note. Uh, again, your film, Falling, will talk about your, your writing and directorial debut, but you you know what it takes to tell a great story and, and obviously emote um, a great story. What Can you describe for me what it was like in that arena that night? I mean, walk me through it. it. Was, it well, it became Bedlam, but it was there was this growing... Before they even passed them, you know, in the scoring, there was just this this hum. You know, you had this this sensation that, wow, maybe, well, nah, it won't, but they're giving them a game. You know, we thought it'd be like they'd get their clocks clean, probably, a lot of people, and they weren't. They were given as good as it got in every area of the game. And it just kept growing. It was a feeling that kept growing, and I, you know, the the last part of the game, everybody's on their feet, and I was just 
It was tremendous. It was an amazing sensation. And after the game was over, I, I still couldn't believe it. It was, just, it was incredible. It was just incredible. Do you have the ticket stub? I, I didn't need vodka. I didn't need <laughs> <laughs> do you have? Do you I have didn't a? Feel the cold when they went outside. I bet. Did you? Did you have a stub or? Sweden, a, a, Sweden I, got the bronze, right? Did Sweden get the bronze? I I think the Soviets dusted them off. I think the Soviets might have oh. gotten the bronze. I'm I'm. Uh, you know what? I, I'm. Yeah. I, I can't I, remember. I've kind of lost track on that. But do you have a stub or a program from that still, or any memento from that day? I'm kicking my. I wish I did. I, I wish I did. I have my. I have my um, volunteer, you know, laminated pass that I have with the Lake Placid symbol on it. It's on a little cord or string, I think. I have that stowed away. I don't have the ticket. That's so stupid. I should have kept that. No, well, who the heck knows, right? Years later, uh, yes, you're, it's, uh, Sweden did, in fact, win the bronze in the 1980 Olympics. Yeah, that's right. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.